How's it going everyone? Paul with Adaptable Survival. What I want to do in today's episode is talk about the Hidden Woodsman Survival Kit pouch as well as my thoughts behind all of the switching out I do with my pouches, my gear, and how you can go about figuring out that stuff for yourself. All right, so let's start off by looking at the pouch itself. This patch doesn't come with it, but I wanna give a shout out to Survival Gear, Bushcraft and Survival Outfitters. Uh, I just wanna give a shout out to Brian and what they're doing over there. Make sure you check them out on social media as well as here on YouTube. But with the Hidden, Hidden Woodsman survival kit pouch uh, on the front here as you can see you have some hook and loop so you can attach pouches so if you turn this into a med kit i know he offers quite a few different uh, color schemes for kits i know there's a red one uh, that i thought about buying to set up as a uh, medical kit not so much for like bleeding or anything just kind of a few odds and ends to carry on hand uh, you have those nice beefy zippers all along here with these awesome zipper pulls. So I'm a big fan of putting the shrink wrap over my zipper pulls. Um, I will be doing a video in the next coming weeks here on botting your zippers so you can do this. On the back side of the pouch, let me back up a little bit here, you have a little bit of molly as well as two uh, strips here that you can weave into molly uh, you know that is one of the things that i typically see people do a little bit wrong at classes is they'll just take these straps and they'll put them right through the webbing and then buckle it off and it's kind of hangling hanging off and just dangling there uh, i was going to say hangling but that's not a word anyway sidetracked so making sure that you weave these in and out of whatever your molly webbing you're attaching this to is going to give you a nice snug fit so you don't have stuff flopping around but for the outside that's pretty much it uh, i'm not going to dive heavily into specs dimensions all that you can easily find that on his site uh, but let's get this on the ground open it up and i'll kind of show you some of the contents i've been messing around with in there. so let's pop this open take a look at the contents that i have inside here I'll talk through kind of my thoughts, theories, those sorts of things behind what I'm carrying in this kit. Now, some of the stuff I carry in here is gonna be real similar to a video put out in the last couple of months where I was taking a look at a One Tigress pouch. Uh, you can go back, find that video, but I kind of carried over a few things from there, so let's talk through it. Uh, so right on this side, you got some of this stretchy uh, bungee type material um, again it's basic on the name of it but not important um, in the grand scheme of things here um, but you're gonna have three big slots and then six smaller slots to feed stuff through so I just have an SAK in the middle one one of my mini ferro rods four inches Bic lighter because you can never have too many of those this is Blackbeard fire starter. So I'm sure if you look around online, you can easily find one of these. There's a couple of different companies that sell similar products to this. Then right behind here, you have this pouch, just kind of like a dumb pouch. So I have some Tinder fire, uh, Tinder quick cordage. Can't remember the name. I'll throw it across the screen here. But I just like to carry a couple of different hanks of extra cordage for anything that I may be doing when I'm out in the woods. And then behind there, I just have a cheap, uh, I think this is an SOL XL emergency blanket. Uh, tons of uses for that. On the other side, got the Hidden Woodsman uh, logo sewed onto the pouch here. And you have your nice beefy zippers here once again. So first off I have in here is just an extra headlamp. And this comes in handy. So if my other one dies for whatever reason, this is just a black time and sprint. So it's just got white light uh, just as a backup and it's really, really light, compact. So I like to throw it in a couple of different kits. And here got my Tinder quick tabs. So I like to have multiple 
quick tenders on hand so I'm not searching around for stuff on the landscape. If I do happen to fall in the water or for some reason need a fire right away, I have multiple ways to start that fire. Kind of buy into the old cliche of a lot of kits you see online, have a million knives and a million ways to start fire, but I digress. Like I was saying, just extra cordage for any kind of products, or not products, projects I may be doing when I'm out in the woods. Uh, this is just number 12 bank line. I like carrying number 12 just because I can carry a lot of it. You could definitely get away with carrying number 36 and breaking that down. Uh, I just find this to be a little bit more convenient for myself. And the other thing I have in there is some tenacious tape. So as you can tell with the Perseverance Survival Whoopie hoodie, as well as the REI uh, Hybrid Flash uh, hoodie that I've been wearing in a lot of videos lately. Um, that material, if you're on fire, Ember hits that, which I believe on this one, right, uh, 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 right, uh, right there, got a little burn in there from an Ember. With this jacket, I don't care so much since it's what I'm typically wearing at classes, so I don't care if it gets beat up a little bit but I could always use that tenacious tape to if I had a hole here I could easily patch that up so it doesn't become a further issue other than that that's all I'm carrying in here at the moment so in this video I didn't really want to say hey go out and buy this pouch because um, at the end of the day it doesn't matter to me if you buy any of the products that I review the way I look at my channel and my social media, like my Instagram and my Facebook page, I've always viewed those as almost like a digital journal. It gives me the ability to capture my thoughts on something at the time that I'm using them or you know, throughout the process as I'm using them so I can go back to them, reflect on what I was thinking at the time of when I first got it to after some use of my final thoughts on it. Um, I've been using this pouch for about the last month. I know Malcolm has offered a similar style of pouch. He changes a little bit of the features here and there, um, but it's the same pouch that's been out for a couple of years, not entirely different from a lot of other organizers on the market. Uh, but when I can support a small uh, cottage maker, um, I, I'm always gonna do that first and foremost. Uh, another thing uh, moving into this year that I wanna try and move closer towards is supporting American companies as much as possible. Now, it's not possible to use every single product made in America, but if I can do the best I can to get as many products that are made here, or at least support a company based here, uh, I'm gonna do that moving forward. But with survival pouches, it's just like anything else in this genre. Um, you know, backpacking, camping, car camping, overlanding, however you wanna look at it, the gear you decide to choose is such a personal thing because my situation, my skill level, my knowledge is completely different from someone just getting into it or an old timer that has been doing it since before I was born. So look at a lot of the videos that I do, not so much as I'm saying, hey, go buy this product or this is what you need to carry. Take these as grains of knowledge nuggets in the broader spectrum of things uh, when you can reference multiple sources for what so-and-so is carrying, what your skill level is, what your knowledge base is, and then make the best decision from there with the gear that you carry, the gear that you put in a survival kit. Now, personally, I wouldn't say this is an all-in-one survival kit because there's no way for me to hold water in this, uh, purify water. I can start a fire, but then I can fall back to you. I don't have a container to use. So this more falls into line with something like a possibles pouch or something along those lines where it just has a few odds and ends that make my life a little bit easier when I'm out in the woods. Do me a favor down in the comment section down below. Let me know what kind of organizers y'all love lo using losing trying not to lose any of our gear but things happen 
But let me know what you like to use to organize your gear, whether that is multiple pouches or multiple pockets. I always look forward to that engagement down in the comment section because not only are you learning from me in these videos, but I'm learning from you with that engagement on the channel, on my other social media platforms. I do my best to re reply to every comment, but uh, it gets out of control sometimes. So um, I do my best to respond to you. Uh, so if there is something that you want me to check out, let me know in the comment section down below. Also do me the favor of hitting the like and subscribe. That gets more eyes on the community that we're building here, helps bring people into that community so we can grow our knowledge base and learn together and grow together. As always, this has been Paul with Adaptable Survival. Adapt your mind, your body, and your gear.